Kiora and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the blob brush and the shape builder tools. So these are both very easy tools for beginners to start with. Um, the blob brush tool is located here underneath the paintbrush tool. So the paintbrush tool, I'll show you how that works. Um, if you click and drag, it'll take your stroke colour and it will follow the line of your mouse or your pen. I can change the colour here and then paint with a new colour. The reason why I don't work with the paintbrush tool very much except when I'm using brush strokes is because when I zoom in and if I click on it you can see that it's just got a path running down the middle. That's really handy if I want to edit the path later but not so handy if I want um, complete looped um, path outlines. I can of course convert this to outlines um, using object path outline stroke but there's another way that I can easily and intuitively create artwork. I'm going to select all of these and delete them and click and, dra um, click and hold and get the blob brush tool. So with this tool selected I can see that it's got quite a tiny cursor on it so I'm just going to hold the right square bracket key, which is just above the return key, and I'm going to make the cursor bigger. So now it acts similar to a paintbrush, and you can see it does a little bit of smoothing there. But interestingly enough, if I get my selection tool and click on an object, you can see that it has actually got a path running around the outside of that shape. So this object is something that I can work with. If I get the blob brush tool again, and when I'm using the same colour, if I draw over um, the pieces that I'm, the strokes that I've already made, and then select it, you'll notice that it is one object. When I drew these ones, they were not touching, and so they retain their individuality. But these ones are they are joined together, and you're not going to be able to get those apart. There's no way to ungroup that that's permanently locked together. So think about how you would like to work with your artwork in the future. This might be a more intelligent way to, to go. Um, the Shape Builder tool is located here and that can be really useful for joining things together and breaking them apart. So if I want this stroke and this stroke actually joined together, I can use the selection tool to select both of them. I just clicked on one, held shift and clicked on the other one so they're both selected and then I grab the shape builder tool and as I hover my mouse over you can see it puts a little texture on things and there's a little plus icon there. So I can draw across and it will join things together and draw across that way and now you can see the path runs around the out, outside, so these are permanently joined together. I'm just going to click off that for a moment, and using um, the basic shape tool, I'm going to draw an ellipse, and then I'm going to deselect that, grab another colour, draw one circle, grab the selection tool, hold alt then, click and drag, and hold shift to keep it straight. And if I want to punch these two holes out and actually cut them out of this paler pink, what I can do is again use the shape builder tool. So I'm going to select all three by holding shift when I click. Grab the shape builder tool. And if I drag over it now, it's got the plus beside the icon, beside the cursor. If I hold alt, it changes to a minus. So I can actually do a single click and remove those parts of the paler pink outline. So now I have holes through there. We can prove that by making another shape. So I'll draw a rectangle over top to start. Double click. Change the colour. Something that doesn't hurt your eyeballs. And it's over top. You can change the stacking order of things. Right click on it and choose a range, centre back. And now we can see that these are indeed holes in the middle here 
that we can see all the way through. I can pull it across the edge and we can see that we are indeed looking all the way through. So by using a combination of the blob brush and the shape builder tool, you can make some reasonably advanced pieces of artwork that all have a path going around the outside and it doesn't require any special tools other than your mouse and a steady hand. Thanks for watching.